Okay, everyone, let's go over SPY options weekly trading strategies. Trading the SPY options is very difficult, guys, but it's also very lucrative. Dangers and the advantages of trading SPY, especially if you want to grow a small account fast, but also we need to keep it real with how dangerous it is to trade the SPY that um, expires on Monday. Wednesdays and Fridays. So I'm going to go to a case studies. We'll go straight to the charts and the case studies. So, and here we go. So you can see that trading uh, SPY has a huge leverage. For instance, here you see uh, one of my trading day trading uh, the August and the October puts here getting into 2022 on the SPY weekly options. And those are the same day expiry. Besides those, you can see those were 56 DTE date to expiration. And you can see that, for instance, here are 419 put, you know, that cost $2.02, went to $10.54. So you're talking here about a 5x your money, which presented a nice opportunity for 4,000, right? So you can see, you can take small amounts of money here, 142, right, to 179. That's over 20% uh, return, uh, and et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Okay, here, nine into a 1272, and this is on the 56 days to uh, expiration, right? But generally speaking, you're going to see the velocity of multiplication and the multiplier to grow small accounts fast by trading the zero day to expiration, which usually you are going to see you trade them on Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. And by the way, that's a very important uh, thing to know because I try to really avoid the Tuesday chop, right? And I try to avoid the Thursday uh, sideway to up because what they do here is they position themselves to have the best option premium on Monday, Wednesday, Friday. Typically, another point also when you trade SPY options, to keep in mind, it's always better to trade puts, right? So why is it better to trade puts, right? Uh, one of the reasons is when you look at a $1 option, right? There's three components into a dollar option. You have a real value into the options, a term value in the option, and the implied volatility in the option. So let's say I break down that one dollar option right there. Let's say there's real value 10 cents, term value, let's say there's 40 cents, and there's implied volatility, volatility of 60 cents. If the market tanks, guess what? Real value on the put option right here, is going to go up, term value is going to go sideways to down for expiration, and the implied volatility is going to explode. Why? When the market goes up, the fear factor goes up, which means the implied volatility, the VIX, or the implied volatility in the options is going to go up. So I have two out of the three components going my way. Now, I am not a big fan of calls because look what happened. Same the option, but this time it's a call. So I have volatility in the option, right? You break it by three. You do here the same 10 cents. Here, let's say uh, time value is 40 cents. Implied volatility is 60 cents, right? Guess what happened? If it's a call and the market goes up and rip off, look, what happened to the fear factor? The fear goes down. When the market goes up, fear goes down, which means your implied volatility goes down. So this IV would go down. This time value will go down because it expires worthless and the real value will go up. Now I have two out of the three components in an option that goes against me. So I'm more of a fan of put to start with. Now, let's remember one thing, guys. You got to understand that even though I'm showing you here that this option, this 419 put multiplied by five, right? You got to understand that options are super dangerous, especially guys, the options that expire the same day. You know, I want to cut it where 90% of the day trader lose money anyway. So when you go after options that expires at 4 p.m., 
It's a huge high risk, high reward situation. You know, some would say you gamble, it's highly a gamble. But what I'm, I'm countering the gamble uh, argument is this, is in this case, I'm, I'm risking $2 to make $5. So I'm risking one to make five. And I love those asymmetrical bets because when I do SPY options or SPY weekly options, I buy stuff that are between 40 cents and a buck. You know, so I know my maximum loss per contract is going to be 40 cents or $40 on option to $1 to $100 on option. So 40 to 100 would be, so you know it's very well defined. How much will you lose per contract? It's very well defined. And those options explode. So let me show you some case studies, but I want also to cut through the fact that they are extremely dangerous, everybody. And uh, my results here, I use them for the case study of this uh, video, but it's not to, uh, it's not a promise that you can do this. Uh, and it's also a way for you to think about your risk and reward in SPY trading options.